<laughs> Alright folks, I thought I'd do a wee video and just show you what I take for wild camping and backpacking trips and my Osprey XS48. I'm always interested to see what other people take in their wee videos and stuff so I thought I would just do one of my own. You obsessed with that ball? Yeah. Obsessed with that ball? So here is our latest addition to our furry family. This is Mia. She's another rescue like Copper. Mia's three years old and we think she's um, Pekingese. She was brought into the shelter after used to breed dogs and then just given up. How could anybody give you up, Mia? Eh? Look at you. You're such a wee cutie. She's obsessed with that ball as well. You want to play? Do you want to play with this ball? Want to play with this ball? Don't you? Want to play with that ball? No running a bit too much, a bit too warm. So first up obviously is my go-to bag, my Osprey Exus 48. I really like this bag, eh? I've had it for quite a few years. I like the fact that the panel sits away from your back so the air can circulate. Um, the only downside is obviously the mesh pockets and the netting coming away there, see? But then that's what gives it its... because it's really lightweight, eh? it's only what, 1 point... 1 point 1 kilograms? But... I'm not in no hurry to get rid of this. Next up is obviously my Lanshan Pyramid Tent, the Leaning Tower, as you've probably seen, I've had it out quite a lot of times, this is my go-to tent. At 1.1 kilograms, quite a good weight, could be lighter I suppose, but my Lanshan one, but I prefer the space in that. I'll get Pipe Dream 400, I use this all year round, know that I camp a lot in the winter, but I have used it in the winter wearing extra clothes. Comfort rating is minus 6, it goes down to extreme minus 20. Only weighs about 865 grams. It's been a great bag again, I've had this for a few years. And it's my go-to bag. Especially in summer. If you're taking a bag out in the summer, especially a summit camp, you don't know how cold it's going to get. So, may as well have the extra warmth. Also use a wee cheeky Vietnamese Silk sleeping bag liner, I've had this for years. Got it off eBay. Hey, yeah, girls. Yeah, pal. This obviously protects the Alkit sleeping bag as well. You having a wee nosy? Next up, weighing 375 grams, is my Thermarest Mewear Light. I got this at Christmas time and it is very comfy. Very comfy. And it doesn't sound like a crisp packet, maybe they've um, improved it, shall we say. What is it the dogs eating grass at this time of the year? Hey, go eating that grass. Next up, I've got two pillows. Oh, you'll normally use this one. This is a wee cheapy eBay one. It's not as comfy as my decathlon. Ketch or however you pronounce it. That weighs a wee bit more than this. I'll take this if I'm doing longer and bigger treks. But um, the decathlon one's more comfy. Eh? Yeah. You're not playing with that. No toy. Is it time for a treat? Is it time for a biscuit? Here you go. One for you. One for you. One for girls. Back to you girls, one for Copper and one for Mia. that nice? So my cooking setup is a Speedster stoves. I've been using this actually for quite a few years now. I was always gas canisters, eh? And I'd be like, nah, I'm not going to use that because Robin was always using Speedster stoves. But in the end, I saw the light 
I was always getting fed up as well, just with taking maybe a canister and then taking an extra one just in case I ran out. But now this is just perfect because I can always judge how much fuel to take and it's just so light as well, eh? The, I've had this for quite a number of years as well, the Alpkit Mai Tai 650, weighs about 111 grams. Recently got the Border Raider cooking kit from Speedster Stoves. That's a combined weight of 219 grams and a 750ml titanium mug. Use this for my bioethanol fuel that I get from B&Q. Here's my wee titanium life venture spork. I've had that for a few years as well. Thank you Robin Wallace for this funky lighter. That's quite a cool lighter. And a wee cheeky measuring jug. I'll be looking forward to using the Border Raider cooking kit. So my hydration setup, we've got the Platypus Platy bottle, 40 grams it is. I use this for when obviously I've reached camp or just before camp. I've got, um, I bought this from Decathlon, Robin's recommendation. Just random water bottles and then obviously if the water is a bit dodgy use a Sawyer mini filter with a just a empty coke bottle <laughs> normally does a trick I've also got that but I hardly use that for the Sawyer filter probably prefer a be plastic bottle you want a treat? you want a treat as well? can you want a treat? Eh? there you go For you. One for you. One for you. So my electronics and miscellaneous. So I've got my wee lipsol, I've got sun cream, some hand gel. I've got my Garmin Etrex 20. I've had that for quite a few years. Second hand e off eBay. I've got the whole of the UK 1 to 50 maps. There's my anchor charger. Nice wee cheeky tent light and vlogging light, both were given to me by Robin, thank you again Robin, you give me so much stuff. <laughs> Got my two batteries from, from a DJI Osmo, my 4 class rechargeable head torch, quite a good, decent head torch that actually. I've got my wee iPod and wee speaker in there, if I like listening to some tunes, wee meditation tunes in the tent. Got my four class decathlon mat, map and compass. There's my wee, just a wee first aid kit. Um, I've also got a pair of shades. Well, I go through so many pairs of shades to be honest with you. These are from Lidl's, I think. And a wee emergency blanket, it's always good for sitting on in the tent. I've also got a few of these, um, I think they were about 50 pence. They're good for um, putting your miscellaneous stuff in and I've got one for snacks and stuff like that. Cheeky wee Lidl's fruit bags. So the clothes I carry, I've got so many hats, I'll just, uh, there's just a car, I normally take a couple, um, there's my buff and my wee summerish hat, just a wee cheap pair of fleecy caramel gloves for spring summer, I normally take these when it's a bit colder, these are great gloves actually, um, I've had a f couple of pairs over the years because um, I keep losing them. But uh, I, seen it, I think I seen it years ago on Facebook, it was actually a, an ice climber that recommended these because if you lose them, they're only like six, seven quid. They're great gloves. So, spare t-shirt, spare socks, 
Montane Prism jacket that I've had for quite a few years. Love this jacket. I uh, use that if it's cold at night. Here's my Bergus Gore-Tec Pack Light. Made about 224 grams. Here's my Rab Waterproof Jacket Downpour Plus. It's not really that great, although maybe it just needs it reproofed, to be honest with you. And this is a wee... This does for, like, spring, summertime decathlon. Quite a light wee pocket jacket. Just chuck it on if it's uh, there's a slight breeze in the hill. You three just can't stay in the shade, eh? You've just got a sun at top. Honestly. Just keeping cool in the shade, are yous? Keeping cool in the shade. Got big chops. You keeping cool in the shade? Are you keeping cool in the shade? Mia. I gotta be comfy lying next to a brick. I've also got my nature hike poles that were bought from AliExpress a couple of years ago. 30 odd quid. These are done quite well. That's me packed. It was hard to get an accurate reading because um, I was using the scales in the house. But I was coming up 7.5, 7.2, 7.3. Let's just call it 7.3. Just over 7 kilo. That's not too bad without food and water. My gear has got lighter and lighter over the years. Still not completely lightweight, but you need to have some of your luxuries, don't you? You know. So let me know in the comments if um, there's anything I've missed. If you think I should take anything else or anything, any wee hacks and stuff. Hey, hey yeah. I see you. I see you. I see you. So thanks for watching my wee video on. The gear I take, mm -hmm. fat packing and whale camping. See you on the next one. Goodbye from me and a goodbye from them. Gilly, you getting wired or not? <laughs>